an NBA legend left LeBron out of his top 10 players of all time. As LeBron has been able to do, it's different, but it is what it is. And Stephen A was not having it. You know good and damn well LeBron is a top two or top three player in the history of basketball. Why is LeBron James not on that list? And for the record, I agree with Stephen A. That list is some Dr. J, but you did cover your own by saying it's retired players only. Everybody I named in there, their career is finished, That right? is true, that is true. So no Bron, no Steph, no KD, or any of those guys. But there's still a lot of retired players that could be involved in this. Bird, Kobe, Tim Duncan. But we'll get to what I think later. Let's see what you, the fans, thinks. Roy Green, he said the top 10 are retired, and if him and Curry retire, they'll be in it. I kind of disagree. Dr. J is an official OG old head. He's 73 years old. What does that mean? He is stuck in his ways. He ain't changing his list for Miss Monet, it's his list, he played with those dudes. How you gonna tell somebody about their list? Oh, easy. <laughs> that is kind of garbage. Just because he's an NBA legend doesn't mean you can't disagree with something that he put out. I don't care if that's Michael Jordan, Dr. J, Peyton Manning, Tom Brady, bring it on, everybody can get the smoke. Now with all due respect to his list, these guys are Hall of Famers and legends in their own right for a reason. But I can name some guys better than the guys he has on that list easily. And LeBron is certainly one of them. Tone lock, I agree, have your preferences. Highlight the things you respect, but to leave that man out is blasphemous. This is the tweet of the day. LeBron's resume stacked up with these other resumes, a lot of them pale in comparison. It's really utter bullshit that Bron's not even top five, let alone top 10. That's crazy, doc. Lethal hardcore and BR, truth hurts. LeBron is only relevant because he's still actively playing. 10 years from now, the dust will settle in and we will realize he benefited from an NBA least era, so he made it to a lot of NBA finals. I don't give a fuck what the rest of the says. He has VR in his name and he's still living in a fake world. Virtual reality is one hell of a drug I guess, huh kid? 20, 30 years from now, LeBron will be still remembered as one of the greatest, if not the greatest player of all time. I don't give a what your old ass probably gotta say. This has got to be the ugliest thing that I see all day. I'd rather end up in a movie theater and watch Barbie five times before I had to meet this dude in person. Dr. J, with all due respect, you revolutionized the forward position for sure. One of the league's real first NBA stars, even back in the ABA. We know your track record. We know your history. It's not like you're not credible. I'm not saying that. Especially me compared to you. I don't have nearly the amount of vast NBA knowledge that you do have. But I do, sir, have an opinion. And I am not an idiot when it comes down to this game. And Dr. J knows it too. LeBron belongs on in a top 10 list. LeBron belongs in every top 10 list. Really? My personal opinion? If he's not in your top three, I don't know if we can still have a conversation about this. So maybe this is just a petty game that Dr. J is playing? I don't know. I respect my eldest though, man. He's an OG. And I'd love to meet him one day. Also, shout out to Joy for getting that interview done. That's my girl right there. But still, Dr. J, wildin' dog. I don't care who you are. Nobody is safe from getting called out on this show.